as you guys know, I normally do all my grocery shopping every single week from Aldi. And then I have spurts where I go to other stores. Like this week, I went to Costco and Walmart because we have a special event and I had things I wanted to pick up. And when I do that, I just grab for other areas of our life. And that's how, even though you guys think sometimes I don't get enough food at Aldi or you question how I have different things, I go to other stores. I absolutely love grocery shopping. I like to make meals and try new recipes. And hauls like this are how I supplement our weekly Aldi hauls. I don't go to Walmart and I don't go to Costco every single week, especially Costco is like very infrequently, but the hauls happen and I'm excited that you guys wanted to see it. This is what we got. Any guess on the total? And my little happy shopper got his reward. Show them your pizza. Yeah, boy, with Sprite and lemonade. I spent $177.34 at Costco today. The good news is it was all using my Costco rewards and I had enough left over to pay for my Costco membership. So it almost felt like I got all of this for free, which made it easier for me to add stuff to my cart. But anyways, right when I walked in, I saw that they had Banana Boat um, SPF 50 and it was on sale. It's normally $16.99, but it was $5 off. So it was $11.99 for all three of those, which I thought was a really good deal. The Capri Suns, four of them were $13.79. I have a hard time finding these in store right now. And I knew this would pretty much get me through the end of the school year. My girls get one in each of their lunches every day. So it was a good addition. I'd be spending the money anyways. Fruit by the foot is not something that we buy all the time, but my daughter's been asking me to get fruit by the foot and Aldi doesn't carry it. So when I saw this giant pack, I knew it would last us for a while. It was $14.69 for all of those. The Cholula, I've just never seen this at Costco and my husband really loves this when we go to Mexican restaurants. So I thought he would be happy to have this in our fridge and pantry. It was $8.59 for both of these bottles. And it's timely because we're actually having tacos the spicy potato tacos for dinner tonight and I have a feeling he'll really like that. The popcorners I wasn't planning on actually getting because I didn't need more snacks, but they were on sale. They were $7.98 after $3.40 instant um, discount. So I thought that was pretty good. It makes it just over a quarter a bag. To have car snacks or to take to school, that's a really good value. And it was easy to say yes when my son asked me to get more of those. These sweet and spicy pickle chips I thought would be really good when we have our grill barbecue um, friends over this weekend. And me and my middle daughter Elsie both really love these pickles. They were $5.49. We bought them many times. The collagen peptides, I have never taken these before, but I'm trying to um, add a little more supplements into my diet since I eat one meal a day and I'm trying to make sure I get enough protein. I've never really paid attention to that. And I saw that not only can I get 18 grams of protein by having a scoop of this every day, but I've heard really good things. And I know Aldi recently had their own version of this. But when I saw it at Costco, I decided to give it a try, get some more protein and um, the collagen. So we'll see if I end up using it regularly, but I'm kind of excited to give it a try. This was $31.99 and it's just over a month's worth. So this would be about $32 a month if I do like it and take it. But I feel like for my health, it probably is worth it. These cheddar slices, it's two pounds for $7.89. My husband really likes to have sliced cheese and since we're grilling with burgers, I thought this would be good to get and definitely seemed like a good value. So I only went to buy one four pack of Hebrew National Hot Dogs. I buy these. This is one of the only things that I always get from Costco. However, they were on sale from $10.99 to $7.69 for a four pack. And let me tell you, I love Hebrew National Hot Dogs. They're the only hot dogs that I buy. And these can go right in your freezer and you pull them out not long before you need to use them and they're perfect. So I'm gonna have 12 packs of hot dogs and probably 10 of them are gonna go in my freezer and then we'll have them this weekend when our friends come over. For $7.69 per pack, that's a really good deal. So it's about 28 cents a piece, which for Hebrew National Hot Dogs, they're 100% beef and they're kosher. Um, really a good value in my opinion. I also went to get this country potato salad. I had tried this recently in my in-laws and thought it was really good. So I, once I realized it would probably be a good fit for our barbecue, this was on my list. And it was my lucky day because it was on sale for $1.97. So the use by date is this weekend, but we're planning to use it this weekend. And I guess I'll just have to uh, make sure I eat lots of potato salad in the next few days. 
It was really good. And for $1.97, I'm excited. This strawberries and cream popcorn is normally $7.49. And it was on the snack bar where you can try a sample. My son tried it and really liked it, but they had $2.50 off. So it was only $4.98. It's filled up to about here. And I thought this would be an easy like snack to have out while we have friends over this weekend. And it looked really pretty. It was very sparkly pink. We also got these Izzy sparkling juices. My kids have just been asking to have these. They like to have it when we have like pizza and movie nights to have an Izzy. It's better than pop. And it was $15.99. And then I also had to pay for Michigan deposit 10 cents per can. So that was another $2.40. We got Kirkland sports drink. We were going to get Gatorade. However, my son wanted blue. And obviously the Kirkland was a better value than Gatorade. So this was $11.99 for a 24 pack. This is for my kids to take to track or to t-ball. Easy drink addition to bring along. And my final Costco item was this edamame. It was $13.79. It's six pounds of edamame. It's 12 different eight ounce bags. So it's like 12 servings. And I actually plan to eat these with like a Greek yogurt dip that I've been on a kick on. And you get lots of protein per serving. And all of this all together was $177.34. And you can see I had my Costco rewards of $284 for the last year. And I used that to pay. So I didn't have to pay anything. And then I got $106 back. And that was almost enough to pay for my Costco membership, which I also renewed for $120. I basically use my Costco card for all bills and everything that I buy so that I earn rewards and it pays for the membership. We went to Trader Joe's because they're right next to each other. And the only thing I got was this jalapeno pino limeade and we're gonna have this with our tacos tonight i just walked around there i wanted to get um taquitos but they didn't have any black bean taquitos again they never are in stock when i go so i just got the jalapeno limeade and this was two dollars and 29 cents okay so today was walmart pickup day i got all these goodies and i'm gonna go through and share with you what i got i will put the price on the screen because i don't have the prices right in front of me so I won't be audibly saying them, but the price will be on the screen and uh, let's get to the goods. With our friends barbecue this weekend or grill out, we got two packs of these burgers. I don't know how many people are going to have burgers versus hot dogs, but we just wanted to make sure we had enough of each. And my husband asked me to get these. So we got the burger patties, two packs. We got two packs of hot dog buns, two packs of hamburger buns. And I'll just say that Whatever is left over is going to be a meal next week, at least one, because I'm not going to waste it, but we're probably going to make too much. I don't know if anyone else is like me, but if we have people come over, I make way too much food and then make my family eat the leftovers. We got Angry Orchard Crisp Apple Hard Cider, and also our local hometown favorite, Oberon. This is made right here in Kalamazoo, and it's a little claim to fame for our city. But, of course, we had to have it for our cookout. Um, I'm not drinking right now with 75 hard, so I won't be partaking, but only the responsible adults will be. If you know my husband, he loves his vanilla ice cream and to have it on hand, and we are running low. So since I was getting a Walmart pickup, I didn't wait till this weekend to get it from Aldi. Even though this is more expensive, it was worth having earlier. So I got that for my hubby. I always, if I do a Walmart pickup... I try to think of things that I normally can't get at Aldi, and that includes the Essen Haas Amish noodles. So I'm going to have beef and noodles next week because I put this on my grocery list, and it's just easy to get it when I'm already going to Walmart. We love these noodles, and they cook so good in the beef broth. I got two bags of salt and pepper crinkle chips for our barbecue. Who knows if we'll open both of them, but I didn't want to run out. You'll see that's a theme. I got chip dip. I bought four pounds of strawberries because, again, I didn't want to run out. And I feel like strawberries are pretty universally accepted by kids as an easy fruit side. So I'm just going to clean and dice them up. I'm also going to make carrot sticks. I have carrots in my fridge. So I didn't need to get any vegetables. Along the lines of not running out, I got waffle fries so that we can make some fries. I doubt we'll go through two bags since each bag is over a pound. But again, I wanted to have more if we ran out. The breaded okra, this is something that I absolutely love, but I can't get it everywhere. So when I have a Walmart order, they always suggest that I add this. And so when I was checking out, they said, are you sure you don't want to add this? And I thought, you know what, Walmart, I do want to add that. I love this breaded okra. So delicious. I put it right in my air fryer and then I like to dip it in ranch. I got a head of lettuce so that we could have leaf lettuce for our, our burgers. And then I got these three lemonades. 
Blackberry lemonade, raspberry lemonade, and lemonade lemonade. They're drink packets where you add it right into a bottle of water. And we actually liked when we have a lemonade stand, my kids are gonna have a lemonade stand next weekend to offer water bottles. And then we add these into the water bottle if they want lemonade. Especially with COVID, it's just really easy and people can kind of feel like it's cleaner when you give them one of these in a water bottle. And it makes it simple for my kids to offer multiple options. So I got these from Walmart because Again, took advantage of getting an order in, and we're having a garage sale and lemonade stand next weekend. Ground cumin, I got a new one of these because I found a chunk of something. I don't know what it was. Whatever cumin's ground from was probably just a larger piece in my cumin, but it grossed me out enough that I threw the rest of the bottle away yesterday, so I quickly added this to replace it. Cumin is a frequent flyer in my spices, so I had to get more. Sauerkraut. For the hot dogs, my daughter and I like sauerkraut and our hot dogs. I don't know if our guests do, but we have it on hand. I got French onion soup and beef consomme. Neither of these are something I can get from Aldi. So again, same with the Essen Haas noodles. Because I was going to Walmart, I decided we'll have beef and noodles next week, and I use both of these. I'll get my beef and beef broth from Aldi on this weekend. And finally, we needed more pickle chips for our burgers this weekend, so I got those. And this is my Walmart haul. So my grand total for all of this was $93.59. So that's the cost of all the items. Plus I did have deposit of $1.80 for all the bottles. Um, in Michigan, we pay 10 cents per bottle and we get that back once we return them and recycle them. But here we are for almost $94, what I got from my Walmart haul. If you wanna see, I'm gonna take the Amish noodles, French onion soup and beef consomme and make beef and noodles out of it. You can check out this video right here. I made it years ago, but the recipe stands. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you on Sunday with my weekly grocery haul. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao down and ciao.